Hi, this is your one and only favorite herbalist, Q Green, and we are going to talk about your herb for today. So the herb for today is going to be the evening primrose. Now with the evening primrose, it is very effective for people to have multiple cirrhosis, which is a disease of the central nervous system. It is also effective for those that have asthma, lupus, ovulation pain, autoimmune diseases, acne, ADHD, arthritis, breast, breast diseases, brain strokes, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's diseases, eczema, bronchitis, depression, diabetes, dry mouth, heart diseases, heavy menstrual pain, epilepsy, high blood pressure, HIV AIDS, hormonal imbalance, hot flashes, headaches, eczema, lower back pain, lung cancer, inflammation, insomnia, IBS, obesity, scabies, migraines, wrinkles, skin diseases, urine retention, sunburns, hot flashes, and people that also have schizophrenia. Now the action in the evening primrose is that it's an antidepressant, it's a digestive, it's a sedative, it's a tonic, a uterine stimulant, a skin toner, a blood purifier, a cardiotonic, an expectorant, an astringent, an antiseptic. Now, for the pregnant women, it is not recommended by it being a uterine stimulant. It will make your uterus contract, and that's not good. It is also not recommended for those who take medication for seizure disorders and also those who take blood thinners. The evening primrose is actually, you can find it in the stores like vitamin shops. You can find it in some grocery stores. It comes in a tea and it also can come in capsules. You can get it in powder form or you can get it in a leaf form because the evening primrose, it actually is a flower. Now, it does have manganese in it, which is an essential mineral for the development and strengthening of the bones. It helps to keep the joints flexible and build the connective tissues. The manganese is required for calcium absorption and regulation of blood sugar in the body. It supports the proper functioning of the brain of the nervous system. It helps the formation of the skin cells and it speeds up the healing process of wounds. It's important for the production of the sex hormones and reproductive health to absorb the iron and prevent the anemia. It helps in also curing the sprains that you can have and reducing inflammation. With the, with the um, manganese, that is really good for a lot of things actually, other than the evening primrose. So you do have other benefits with that. It removes impurities and toxins from the bloodstream. It speeds up the process of detoxification and the excretion of waste in your blood. It promotes the digestion of the food, enhances the digestive system. It prevents the heart disease and it tones the cardiac muscles. So it's a good heart um, tonic. So for those who have heart conditions and if you're not on heart medication, then yes, I would give it a go. Again, if you're not on medication, I would give it a go. Um, like I said, it improves the function of the heart. It has omega-6 fatty acids to promote the brain functions and development of the overall health. It stimulates the hair growth and it, mains, and it maintains the bone health as well. It gives relief from menopause. It helps kill harmful bacteria from causing infection. It's very beneficial for people to have eczema. So it stops the night sweats for those who have the hot flashes. So yes, I would, like I say, give the evening primrose a try. And I thank you for watching my herb for today. This is your favorite herbalist. Once again, Q Green. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye.